Hey clan, and welcome back to Under the Sea. Well, uh, when we last left off, uh, Pathos 2 kind of collapsed in on itself. And somehow we can breathe underwater, which kind of leads my theory that uh, we are indeed a robot. However... We cannot appear to swim, but we can moon jump. Now, we need to go to the Lamber facility. Uh, and I believe we have to take a train. Um, also, yeah, look at that. We are actually in some kind of suit. Which means we're definitely not a remote-operated drone. Because if you remember, we were told by uh, Grant, was his name Grant, Greg? I forget. He um, said, when you're piloting a remote drone, you don't see your body. Obviously, that makes sense. Um, interestingly enough, the Lambda... Yeah, Lambda facility. Uh, similar to Half-Life. In Half-Life, you're in the Lambda facility. It's actually Greek. Lambda. It's, uh, it means, well, it's Greek for 30. Which is interesting. Um, pathos, I believe, means power or something like that. I might be wrong. Well, this is pretty. This is very pretty. Alright, well, to the shuttle. Are we going to find any monsters out here? Maybe. Where did I get a flashlight? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. I thought I'd just try it. And here we are. We now, apparently, with our evolving suit, or maybe adaptive um, robotic body, we now have a light, which is curious. Oh, we're going to follow the lights. We have white light there. We also have these lights here. We could follow the red lights, I suppose, but I'm not really sure... This game is gorgeous, actually, outside. Oh, look at this, the fish. But look at the fish. They're mutated with the same virus, I guess. They inhibited us. That's curious. Or at least uh, inhibited the, the other beings. Can we open? No. So that airlock is dead. Okay, well let's follow this. I have more lights up ahead. I have no idea if we're going to have underwater... Ah, underwater enemies. We have barnacles everywhere. Big bloody barnacles. You know, barnacles... I don't want to say they creep me out, but large clusters of them, uh, I think they trigger my trypophobia. Uh, trypophobia is something that I never knew I suffered with until a couple of years ago. It's uh, a fear of holes because uh, subconsciously um, holes and patchy skin means um, on a subconscious level mean um, damaged or injured skin. However, I got so fascinated with um, trypophobia that uh, I looked up loads and loads and loads and loads of pictures of it, photoshopped and uh, natural. This place is cool. Data buffer available. Um, to the point where I kind of um, got rid of it because I, I saw so much of it. Um, lotus pods as well. If you've ever seen lotus seeds, oof. Data. Where are you? In the field. I had to leave. Is Carl with you? It all went to hell. Hold on. You got the power automated, right? The, the plant is safe. We need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasky! The machines killed Carl. So oh, Amy shit. survived. Right, um, calm down. It'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yes. I think so. I'll head for the show of the Ox. Good luck, Amy. Rooting for you. Right, so Amy did actually get out. So I'm guessing she did disable that droid that we found in the storage area. Uh, kind of curious as to how she did that. 
This is so fucking amazing. I just want to explore. However, it looks like it's kind of a linear path, which I don't mind because I could imagine we could get lost out here. Oh dear. Got some to spare. Got some what to spare. Hey, are you after that uh, structure gel? Okay. Don't jump into that. It's lethal. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if if that hurt us. I mean, I guess it hurt us because we're now flashing red. Well, they stole our structure gel, which is kind of... Where the fuck are we now? That's Ypsilon. What happened to the droid? We just kind of got knocked out. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, that might not have been a good idea. Or was it? Hi right there, buddy. Um, you're now Bob. You can be Bob. Uh, do you want anything from me, Bob? Because... Uh oh, he is following. Looks like he's got a weapon. This doesn't appear hostile. Zax, we gave him structure gel. Hey, Bob, are you alright now? Uh, are we going to be friends? Or are you going to try and murder me for structure gel? He is following us. Is he friendly because we saved him? I guess that's logical. Now, we don't want to go to Ypsilon. Ypsilon looks absolutely fragged anyway. Ooh, towers. This is so cool. I wonder what kind of robot we are. Now, if you also remember, um, when we saw Carl in robot form, he was quite curious at our um, look as well. He did say, we look wrong. Which is curious. Was that just because he was a robot? Or are we actually disfigured in some way? Kind of hard to tell. Not sure if our flashlight has a limit to it either. It doesn't appear to. All right, back there, Bob. Oh. Is that a machine? That is a machine. It appears to be a little crazy. Ah, well, Bob seems to be a little bit curious on the machine, but uh, nothing too bad, I suppose. All right, well, let's keep going. Now, if I was a shuttle bay, what are these? Uh, I would guess that's some kind of um, pump, oil, maybe? Pumping the structure gel? Wouldn't have thought it was anything to do with power, because that's what um, Patheos is for. Unless... Uh, they're just like supplemental generators, but that doesn't really make sense. They, they look more like pumps. So back to Ypsilon. Is that where we're heading? Oh, that's definitely Ypsilon. There doesn't appear to be anything here. Are you still with me, Bob? Yeah, you are. Excellent. Keep following me, mate. I may need you. Ah. Hey, Bob. Uh, Bob, can you go sort him out for me? Ooh, look at this. We've got a boat. Bob? Can you help me out with him? Nope, Bob gives no shits. Okay, well, let's just 
walk on by quickly. So I'm guessing they're the remote drones uh, that Carl was talking about. This looks like it. Shuttle Station Ypsilon. That will do nicely. What's this? Ooh. Oh! Oh, you have like a welder. Now that looks okay. I guess we have to find Bob. You're doing a good good job there, buddy. Good job. Thank you. Who? Thanks, little guy. Yeah. Not really sure what that was about. Right, we need power. Everything there looks okay, and we can't fondle anything. Just open and close it. Hmm. Um. Oh, I see. It's fragged. Oh shit! This thing. This is going to be Winchester in here, isn't it? Yeah. Can we actually get this thing to pressurize? Or is all of this going to be underwater? I uh, got our Omni tool. Okay, well, let's do it. Yoink. I guess it's pressurizing. Yep. Alright, cool. Well, that's one less thing to worry about, I suppose. Oh, haha. <laughs> I was like, shit, the ceiling's coming down. But of course, that is the water level. Come down, Simon. It's all under control. I think. Um. Okay, I thought the game had crashed. It was just loading. I thought the shuttle still worked. Yeah. Or, at the very least, we can find another bob. Well, this place is, uh... Fucked. I honestly thought we were going to have to find... A flashlight. It's kind of strange that we now have one. All right, what have you got for me? Jackie, come in, Theta. What? I can't. Where are you now, Jackie? I'm at the shuttle, but it's not looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I think the power regulator is broken. Excellent. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. Yeah, that'd be a little bit awkward. So, what have we got here? So, we've got Theta, Epsilon. Right, so we need to take the train to Epsilon, which we're at. So, it goes straight to Lambda. That's fine. Okay. Failing that, I guess we could probably walk. Uh, are we injured? I don't know. I mean, the screen isn't really red anymore. Insufficient power. Right. Shit. Okay. So which one do we need to take? Is that any... Yeah. Caution of slipping into train death. Huh. Fun fact, actually. Uh, one of my teachers in school, Mr. Wade, um, got hit by a train. Uh, he dropped his briefcase onto the lines and uh, lent in. And uh, he had a train connect with his head. Luckily, he didn't die. He just spent like six months in hospital. Uh, manifest. Manifest. Shuttle beat. Route. Uh, Epsilon beta. Theta. Departure date. Items. Ticket. Helper kit. Times four. Auto inflator. That's useful. Uh, impact. On this morning of January 12th, 5.15, the comet... Ah, this is it. Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and no longer able to sustain life. Pathias 2 unique, 
Pathios's too. Unique location has provided unparalleled safety to our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station uh, located on the surface platform Omega, unmanned. Which is un which is under the circumstances a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow. Overseer K for Quran. I guess it's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way. Along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. How? I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted to pick a fence, big family, you know. <laughs> the American what dream. I'm, to say is, I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. Yeah. I love you, Amy. I always have. And always will. Shit, son. Um, hmm. I guess those uh, tactical nuclear weapons did not. Ah. The white picket fence and everything. No big kid, uh, big family though. Um, right, so we have Philip screws. We've got bolts. We've got um, flathead screws. Look like we have LEDs. Okay. Is that what we need? Or is that what she has? with her. She's got lots of water. Okay, well, let's get this crate repaired if we can. I don't know whether to take that uh, structure gel. I don't think we need it. Oh, man. Yeah, this is, this is fucked. We are not going that way. Fair play. This chute is locked. Is that locked or is it just because the shuttle only rides this way? That's jammed, but I believe. Can we get in there? No. Must be able to. That's jammed. Well, that is jammed. Right, so this place is locked up. We need power. We can't open that. This torch sucks. I think it kind of dims over time. Uh, so how the hell do we get in? Bucking thing. We can't get in through the windows unless... Do we have something that we can throw? I don't know how we throw stuff. No, uh, that's not cracking. That's obviously Amy's uh, toolkit. Or, well, a toolkit, really? Her helmet. Uh, there's nothing here that we can play with. We don't have a knife. Let's lock this up. Here, man. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Um, let's take off this juice. See if this actually does anything. Jesus nice. Christ. What the hell? Structure gel. Do they give us, like, extra powers or something? I don't know. Are we now stronger? Nope. 
appears to be dimmer here, though. Can we throw something? Like, if we... No. Don't think so. We can't get over this. We obviously need to get into that train somehow. So the torch dims over time, which is a pretty cliched mechanic. There has to be something down here. Spare maintenance. Maintenance is this way, but we can't... Ah. Nope. Can we... Aha! Aha ha ha! Success! We can get past the blockage. In all fairness, we could have climbed over that, but... Uh, let's not split too many hairs. We have... Structured gel, which is always nice. Apparently we need that to live. Somehow. Anybody down here? Anybody at all? Oh! Is that Amy? What? The fuck is this? It's keeping her alive. Um, okay. Uh, hey Amy, I, I, I guess you didn't make it that far. She looks like she's wearing the same suit we are. Hey, are you? Don't hurt me! Uh, I, 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 I wasn't planning on it. Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. What? what happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. It won't let her die. So whatever this organic shit that's taking over the... Is, is that what this is about? It's transferring consciousness into machines? It's... Okay. I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Yeah, well, Amy, uh, I, 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 uh, mm, I don't know how to explain this, but you see, I need this. So it's breathing for her. Looks like some kind of dialysis thing going on, unless she doesn't have a heart or her heart has failed. Oh God, do we really have to unplug her? Um. Amy, but Amy, you've been here for a little while now. Um, uh, ooh, uh, mm. <sighs> uh, Amy, this may not hurt that much. No! Shit, are you okay? Um, are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. Uh, well, Amy, um. You're about to go home, okay? Alright, you're about to go home. Oh, fuck. We knew what was going to happen. Well, there it is, Simon. Maybe one of the last humans alive. Well, kind of human, anyway. Look at this. It's definitely breathing for her. Supplying her brain with blood. What else we got here? So going into the brain, under the armpit, which is obviously an artery. Um. Well, shit. Sorry, uh, Amy. Sucks to be you, I guess. So, whatever this funk is, nothing is allowed to die. Hmm. At least that's just a theory. But it would explain why it's, um... Well, what happened to Carl, though? Carl got sucked into a machine. But a machine killed him. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, it was kind of obvious that 
what was going to happen there. Uh, shuttle link. Well, we have power now, which is nice. Excellent. So, Theta, Omicron, Theta, Delta, Lambada. So, we need to go 0, 1. That's fine. That's what we're going into. Um, but, I mean, on the, on the plus, Amy doesn't need help anymore. Uh, floodable airlock, Pathios 2, adaptive pipes, impact wrench, gaskets, valve patch, multi-purpose cleaner, duplex pump. Right. Uh, well, let's go. Shuttle J6 activated. Standing by. Uh huh. Can we uh, get the fuck out of here? Emergency exit. Um. How do we? Ah. Right. How do we make this go exactly? We can stand up. Ah, I see. Ooh, there we go. Now we can fire this thing? Ah, right. You are here. We need to go to Lambada. Transport terminal, visus, uh, visitor center, depth, 96 meters. Um, oh, we can go to, like... We can go to other places. I guess we will be going to other places. Maybe. Alright. Well, 96 meters go. Poor Amy. I wonder if we're going to come across any more humans. What? What? Oh. Oh. Ah. I see, so it's a giant coil gun. Magnetically accelerating um, objects to terminal velocity, I suppose. Or escape velocity in this, uh, in this instance. Well, who didn't see that coming? How interesting. Giant magnetic accelerator. Deploying emergency brakes. Yeah, a little bit late for that. Well, luckily I saw this earlier. Uh, well, at least we got most of the way there. Hey, if it doesn't let Amy die, I wonder if we're going to come across her in robot form later on. Or, well, yeah, robot form. You rang? Simon. Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for suspected hull breach. No, this I'm not alright. What the hell certainly. happened in the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. Yeah. What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Uh, not a word about Amy? With her weird... You okay? 
life support system. Mm hmm. Well, I guess there's no point worrying about her anymore. And uh, we have some more of this uh, lovely structure gel. Give me that juice. It's like more of us is going into this thing each time. First time we touched it, then we put a finger in. Now it's sucking in our, our whole fist. Um, interesting. Okay. Can we pull this open? Even though it's obviously flooded. I guess not. Right. Maintenance hatch. Maintenance hatch. What are we looking for? That looks like it. Oh boy. This is one hell of an adventure, guys. And why does our suit have all that weird crap all over it? We are definitely infected. With whatever this infection is, we are definitely infected. Maybe that's... Are we like half human, half machine? Is that what's going on? Uh, oh, fuck, I forgot the Omni tool back in the shuttle. Are you fucking serious? Okay. Note to self, always make sure you have the Omni tool. God damn it, can we not go down any faster? Okay. Well, I suppose that's to be expected. Well, at least there's nothing here. Nothing nasty, anyway. Ooh, what is this? Um. Okay. Well, let's grab this. And let's get out of here. Okay, I was wondering if something was going to chase us then. That would have been cool. Maybe Amy's like reanimated corpse. So that's chasing us. You killed me! That would have been quite a cool little touch. Um... So whatever this organic matter is, it needs electricity to survive. Being part uh, bio-organic, I suppose. Or biomechanical would be uh, the correct term. Right, open says me. Well, we're about to get wet. So I wonder what Catherine's like. Is she a robot? Is that going to be the thing? We're going to get there and she's going to be like, Oh, hi, dude. By the way, you. Uh, I'm a robot. So are you. Uh, how? Oh, okay, it's loading. Ooh, there we go. Do we have a choice? Nope. Just one. One choice. Well, under the sea... Everything is better down where it's wetter, apparently. Wonder if Sebastian's around here somewhere. How big can the ocean be? Well, you know, it covers um, two thirds of our planet, right? I mean, I'm just saying. Or is it three quarters? Yeah, it's three quarters of our planet, actually. So, that's enough nonsense from you, Simon. We're just going to keep following the lights. And hope for the best. It's a good thing we're not deeper. There is still a tiny amount of light coming from the surface. I hope we get to see the surface. Oh, here we are. That's not lambda. That's not the lambda s signal. Um, 
symbol. Lambda signal is um, sigil is more like an upside down Y sort of thing. Uh, okay. I kind of want to explore. No, oh, well, I guess there's nothing here to explore. That's a shame. I want more logs. I need more data. Ah, here we are, Lambada. Or Lambda. I always say Lambada. Lambada is a sexy Brazilian dance, also known as the Forbidden Dance. Ooh, what was that? What was that? Why did text literally flash up for a second? I have no idea. Oh. Uh, hey pal, um, no, no, I, I, I would rather not pray to my life, for my life, you know, false gods and all that. Hey, remember Bob? I wish Bob was here. I wonder who that rather angry gentleman is. Um, Lambada. Or Lambda. Come on. Do you want to, like, let me in, please? There's a guy out here that wants to suck out all of my structure gel. Well, that would be the logical uh, assumption, Simon. Alright. Come on, cat. Let's have a look at you. How many eyes do you have? I'm going to check you pretty carefully. If you have any... Uh, blue glowing bits. I am not going to be impressed. Chasing Catherine. Um, yeah, kind of. Ooh. Well, Mr. Droid has been safely locked outside. Now you've got helmets. Ooh. Uh, cat. Be quiet. Don't look at it. Uh. Okay. Don't look at it. Got ya. Uh. Don't look at what? That thing. I'm not looking at it. If we don't look at it, I guess it doesn't move. Is that the deal? Do we have to like... Okay. This... This is gonna be weird. Hey cat, uh, do you mind... Are you sure? Where are you? Oh, I'd like to see a nice living, breathing human. Why do I have my... I'm here. Oh, you're hurt. Ah, you're going to be another robot, like... Oh. Um... I was going to say you're not expe what I expected, but, um... Yeah, to be honest, Kat, you're, 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 uh, you're, uh, yeah, exactly what I expected. Sort of. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Oh. Can't take anymore. This is everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I. What? You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I. I I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. 
Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. The well, door opener. Do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. <sighs> well, at least she's comfortable with uh, who she is. is just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, yeah, whatever. okay. To be fair, Simon, I mean, so I guess we are a robot as well. We're, we're some kind of sentient uh, diving suit. That makes a lot of sense. You know what, guys? This is so good. This is so good. Welcome. Oh. Um, yeah. It's standardized connection. Uh, well, right. Cortex chip, buddy, get it? it. It's her brain, essentially. It's not that hard to understand, Simon. Whoa, okay. So I guess we're going to be taking Cat with us. Pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save from, um, uh, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. Ah. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, filing. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Cap. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Holy crap! Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan, and suddenly here I am. And it that all make makes sense. sense. Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Yeah. Um. Okay. So this game is now making one fuck ton of sense, and I, for one, love it. Yes, um, the door that you opened. That door. Hey, that weird thing isn't here. Yes, look for anything about the arc. Uh, data recovered arc, okay. I heard this game was confusing. Um, it's not, actually. Opinion poll. Robin Bass. Are you excited about the arc? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you yep. are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. Um, yeah, I think it's also very important. The arc. It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the arc reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem. How to actually get a 
is all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it, but it's not going to be easy. If it was going to be easy, would it be worth doing? What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible, by every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes mm -hmm. you say that? Beyond the basics, beyond the superficial, I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Yeah, I mean, I always find this stuff kind of strange. Like, for instance, if you... Um if you downloaded your personality into some kind of um, machine, I mean, it wouldn't really be you, would it? It would just be a copy of you, you know? One that would, uh, in theory, act, think, and um, behave in the same way. But of course, I mean, whether you believe in a soul or that kind of thing, um, you would still be in your body, whether your body was dead or not. I mean, you are your brain. Um, hmm. Ooh, this is getting the thought juices going, guys. Yes, that's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Hmm. Well, we get 5.11 square kilometers. That's uh, somewhere around three, three and a half miles. It's quite nice. Um, item keywood. Oh. Okay, so we've got all different um different areas. Okay. Schematics. So I suppose you could rest comfortably in the knowledge um that um a part of you would live on, I suppose. But I suppose my theory on Simon was correct. Uh, Simon obviously, you know, carried on with his life, um, uh, whatever that was exactly. Um, but uh, this, the, what we are, we are just a copy of him. Um, up until the first point we were scanned. Okay. Schematics. Mhm. Mm that's got to be the trajectory. Looks like they're going to slingshot it around. Can't really make out that stuff. Uh, calibration survey. Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the arc. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? Um, I feel normal, I feel invigorated, a better version of myself. I feel alien, I am a visitor inside another body. I feel fake, no longer a real person. Well, judging by Simon's reaction, I would say we feel normal. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel normal, I feel disconnected, um, a separation of my mind and body, I feel altered, a changing character, I feel lost, I don't exist anymore. Right now, so if this was me personally, knowing what I know now, um, I think upon realisation, I guess I would say I feel lost, but at the same time, he he feels emotion. I mean, he he really this copy believes himself to be real. So I guess he's normal. Um, I mean, if he cuts himself and he gets hurt, does he actually feel pain? He's not altered. He is is very much Simon. Um, or at least what little we do we, we knew about Simon you know? um, I guess we feel normal under the circumstances 
How would you describe your senses? I would say we're more sensitive um, and aware of our surroundings because we get that electrical shit. That interference. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? Um, I guess it's all right. If I if I could transfer my entire being into a robot machine and still feel the same, um, still have all the same pain receptors and uh, you know all the pleasure receptors and all the good stuff, but knowing that I could easily be repaired, um, yeah, I, I think that'd be quite pleasant. I always say, uh, I always say, you have two concerns in life, really, um, cutting out all the bullshit. You have the financial concerns, and you have your health concerns. Some of us can get rid of the um, the the financial concerns. Yeah, we uh, we live very comfortably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but imagine if you could get rid of the health concerns as well. I mean, I'm not sure that I like the idea of becoming immortal. In fact, I I don't think I like the idea of becoming very immortal. Um, but uh, yeah, pleasant. I suppose. Are you troubled by the fact that you're no longer strictly human? Uh, I would be, I guess, somewhat. I don't care what form I take, as long as I get to carry on. Now, that's a curious statement. Um... That's the problem with death. It's uh, it's kind of final, and um, none of us know what's on the other side. Some people do cling to resist uh, to existence. You also get a lot of old people that are tired of life and uh, are ready to move on. But I do wonder how much of that is due to their failing bodies. Like if their mind and their body were still sound, would they would they be more interested in in, in living on longer? Um, I would say somewhat. I feel like I lost myself. How do you perceive your new existence? Uh, it's a direct continuation of my previous self. Well, that's the thing, though. It's not a new chapter in my life. I would say it's like being born again, all over again, a complete do-over. Something completely different and has nothing to do with my previous self. Well, that's not entirely true because your personality um, is the same. A new chapter in your life, not really. Uh, because Simon, as far as we know, went on and, and had a, a full life ahead of him. Uh, unless, you know, his brain leaked to death but I'm going to say it's like being born all over again a complete do over yeah I, I guess do you think this new existence will be a life worth living uh yeah I, I'm hmm. hmm yes as much as my previous life yes but with less meaning maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world no, it's too detached from reality. I said maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in, in this world. Um, I mean, you know, do we all have uh, an existence worth living? Uh, some people do squander their lives. Um, so, yeah. I think maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Ooh. The human in me, <laughs> or the mortal in me, uh, is saying yes. However, um, the lover of science in me is saying no. I would like to experience it. 
Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating in the ARC. Okay. So. I found a tracker so homed in on the ARC. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Right. Where is it? Oh, shit. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. So Ark is still within the sector. So it's around here. Okay. So I guess it was never launched. So it's in Tau. Right at the north. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to fire, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we, got we can fix this. Could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Well, we can uh, possibly get you a body, maybe? Right, so. I guess we're going I'll to Tau. So. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of not walking around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look <laughs> around. What else is there to do? Yeah, I'm with Simon on this. shuttle train that can take us to Theta. I doubt it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. Oh, can I not leave you in the Omni tool? Where are you? Uh. Alright, let's okay. do this. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Can we not just keep her installed? Ah, I see. Right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Um, when we return, I suppose we have to start making our way towards Tau. Holy crap. This is everything to me that Amnesia wasn't. It has such a compelling storyline. Such interesting, deep questions. Oh, I'm going to be thinking about this for a hell of a long time. So, guys, thanks for watching. And when we come back, to Tao. Till then, guys.